Have you ever felt overwhelmed by sorrow and wondered where to turn for comfort? In your challenging moments, God reminds us that he is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed and offers reassurance. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. In moments of despair and sorrow, it's comforting to remember that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. Psalm chapter 34 verse 18. He assures us in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. God, I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He promises that he will never forsake those who suffer. And in Psalm chapter 147 verse 3, he offers solace. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. For those enduring hardship, James chapter 5 verse 13 encourages, Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Our prayers are not in vain, as Proverbs chapter 17 verse 22 reminds us, A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Isaiah 61 verse 1 speaks of the divine mission to heal and liberate. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. This healing and hope are echoed throughout Scripture. Psalm chapter 46 verses 1 to 2 declares, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Psalm chapter 55 verse 22 adds, Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. And Psalm chapter 62 verse 8 encourages us to trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Even in our deepest troubles, Psalm chapter 71 verse 20 assures, Though you have made me see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again from the depths of the earth. You will again bring me up. Psalm chapter 73 verse 26 reinforces, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Isaiah chapter 57 verse 15 reveals God's intimate presence. For this is what the High and Exalted One says, He who lives forever, whose name is Holy, I live in a high and holy place, but also with the One who is contrite and lowly in spirit, to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. In Lamentations chapter 3 verse 22 we find reassurance, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases, His mercies never come to an end. John chapter 1 verse 15 illuminates hope. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus offers peace in John chapter 14 verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give it to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. And in John chapter 16 verse 33, he promises, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Paul reminds us in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 8 to 9, we are hard pressed on every side but not crushed, perplexed but not in despair, persecuted but not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed. He encourages us to cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7. In the end, Revelation chapter 21 and verse 4 reveals God's ultimate promise. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. As we navigate through life's difficulties, these promises give us hope that our struggles are seen and understood. God assures us that one day he will wipe every tear from our eyes.
that there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain offering us a vision of ultimate peace and renewal.